Hello lovely people. Now you may remember these two fabulous faces. This is Jamie and Sharda and we did a little collab at Christmas talking about what it's like being teetotal, when you're going to Christmas parties, when you're socialising, how that works. Claudia's here at the end like, I drink. <laughs> <laughs> She was, you know, yeah. diversity in the video. But today, we're going to be talking about something that's very exciting, that uh, we are very much looking forward to, and that is parenthood. But parenthood with some caveats, because apparently these guys were suddenly going to wait five years, which I didn't know, <laughs> before I said, let's make this video together. But as couples, um, we are both couples who are part of the LGBTQ+, Society, genre, community? community. Yeah, I don't know exactly. where I was going with that. <laughs> but then Society. we also deal <laughs> secret. But we also <laughs> deal with disabilities and interracial. Yes, that, that was that? exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, that that. That's fine, you jump on in, wife. You jump on in. So if you go over right now to Jamie's channel, there's a video where we're discussing all of those kind of the heavy issues. Yeah. Both, yeah, no both our plans for the future and our kind of fears. We made this video, which is all about our hopes for the future, the things we're really excited about, and we'll be answering some of your questions that I asked on my Instagram, which is at Jessica Out of the Closet. Should we all do our other, other Instagram names? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's not what this video is about. So you guys have been together for how long? Oh, it'll be nine years this November. Yeah, and they're getting married. <laughs> Very exciting. And we awesome. are already married. We've been married for three and a half blissful years. Very exciting, adventurous, jam-packed film years, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Not that blissful. Not <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Blissfully in love, but really like, <laughs> yeah. well then. And we've been together for five and a half years. And we're a bit obsessed with each other. Alright, but this video's not about that. that was not, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So let's just start with saying how we each personally identify and what impact that may have on future parenting. My name's Shabba, my pronouns are she, hers. Uh, I am a bisexual Asian. I don't know if the Asian is important. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It comes it into, yeah. yeah. I'm Jamie and I am a transgender man. <laughs> you had to think about that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am a man who is trans. But sometimes that means that people will think I'm just by because I'm with you, which is not the case. And we want, for all intents and purposes, our kids to be able to see us as male and female, even though we can't naturally sort of conceive in that way. Or can they? Watch Jamie's video. Mm. Science. I'm Jessica, and I am she, her, and cisgender woman, and I'm also disabled, and that worries me when it comes to raising children because even though I know that I can 100% be there for them emotionally and love them with all of my heart I also just have days when I am in so much pain I can't lift my head and that sucks I'm also a lesbian yeah, I was going to say you didn't put that bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was leading into it. I'm a lesbian, and this is my lesbian wife. You do have the best word. Lesbian is so good. Lesbian. Cool. Isn't it good to say? Les lesbian. I'm a Jessica. Ooh, I don't know that that works, is it? It doesn't sound as good. No, no. Jessie sexual. Jessica sexual. Jessica sexual. Yeah. That's not actually true, I am just gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I make promises now. <laughs> and I'm she, her, and I'm a, a cis woman. So the first question, and we did sort of, t we did cover this in Jamie's video, but is, is it easy for you to adopt a child? Our couples, we've both said that Adoption is something we'd be really interested in. It's something that we think is obviously a massive positive for the world, as it's fostering, it's great stuff. But I, as a disabled person, would have difficulty adopting a child as my first child because um, they would need to see that I can raise a child in order to give me a child, which is like a weird catch-22. Mm. So unfair. Rock and a hard place, isn't it? And we covered this a bit more in Jamie's video, but it is so many of these questions are about adoption, adoption and fostering. Yeah. I wonder if that's because people think that's the default of what mm. a bit mm. like yeah. what yeah. that's couples would do. Or it's one of it is one of the prominent options, I guess, for most people. We're currently planning on having a baby the biological way uh -huh. first and then adoption later. Once I can prove after a baby. I've noticed uh, like when I've been talking to my like work colleagues and things, they yeah. just assumed it's IVF. Oh. And when I'm like, oh no, no, it's just like RUI, which just basically means like intrauterine insemination. They're like, oh, so you can just put sperm in there? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. 
I did it, yeah, my wife was so complex, it's like you have to extract the egg out of the body and then like... You know, oh, just... I'm gonna just pop it back over, yeah. yeah. What do you want to be called? Mum, Mama, by your name? That is a great question. Mm. Daddy. Da yeah. Daddy. Dad. Daddy or dad? Daddy when they're like little yeah. and then dad when they're older. Because it's Not really weird older. when 30 year olds go, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting because in our culture it's Ma and Pa. So you wouldn't want to be a Pa. Oh, I wouldn't mind if they oh. called me Pa. But oh like, my god, Ma and Pa. Yeah. Oh, Ma so and little Papa. house on the prairie. <laughs> I love it. No, but with the accent it's more Ma. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? You sound a bit like a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to be... I don't think I'd like to be a mum. Ma. You call your mum ma, yeah. like, to her face. Or mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah. That's really <laughs> cool. I don't mind, just one of those very dad, daddy, papa, yeah. pa. And no, I, I want to be mummy. Yeah, not a name. Yeah. Mummy, and you want to be mama. Yeah. I love it. Mama. 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 That really it suits you. Yourself. I know. <laughs> yeah. Also, I find it very odd when lesbian couples are like, we're mum and mummy. Really? Are you though? Can that child tell those words apart? Well, also, like, also as, like, you say a bit like with daddy, like, as I get older, they'll probably just say mum for me rather than mummy. But I can just always mama. be mama. This is a, a bigger one. How would you handle it if your future child made homophobic or transphobic comment? That's like... <clears throat> I mean, I don't think they would, no, would they? No, I would really hope yeah. they wouldn't, but in a hypothetical situation, I guess it's just how any, like, parent would tell their kid, like, how that's wrong. If yeah. they had that view, if they were, like, trans-friendly, LGBT plus friendly and everything, you just sit them down and explain it. Mm. But it would be heartbreaking, though, especially yeah. because... It would really you know, hurt. I genuinely have, like, tears coming up to my oh, eyes. Just just yeah. Like, could you imagine? I, I could see it happening, like, imagine if your kid just comes from the playground and it's like, mm. oh, mummy, that's so gay, you know, like, mm. I don't know. But I think that's like, that's just like an educational thing, like, if they, yeah. and when they get older and become teenagers, they're going to say, potentially, because of their hormones, things that they know is deliberately going to be your weak spots, yeah. mm -hmm. and like, that's what's going to happen. And that's like, doesn't matter what your sexuality is, your child will pick up what your weak spot is. That's like yeah. something. Yeah. It might not even be that... Your transness, it might be like your glasses. No, no, no. To clarify, Jamie's talking about himself. You oh, my big, oh, my big nose. Oh, no. My big nose. My. No, no. Jamie, what have you got? Oh, my God. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, next question. 100%. Next question. My big nose. <laughs> How will you approach gender identity? Will you take a gender neutral approach? Mm. To your child? Yes. So, because this has been in the news as well recently, people raising their kids non-binary with like how i feel is not with like pronouns and name but expression and like mm -hmm. roles in society neutral they can yeah, wear right. what they want play with whatever toys like do whatever sports activities but we would raise them and refer to and... them as their um, assigned yeah. birth at sex and then birth at sex. <laughs> Sorry, sex at birth. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then um should they obviously we wouldn't want them to be trans because it's a horrible thing yeah. for them to have yeah. to go through, yeah. face a stigma, etc, etc. But should that happen, we would clearly be able to deal with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's an interesting question in itself, actually. The would you want your child to be I mean, X? I think so I'm rude for saying that. Like, I think, like no, I don't. Cause I, I don't think it would be more confusing for the child to try and bring them up genderless, you know? Yeah. Personally. Mm -hmm. And then right. also, what are you saying? Are you saying something's wrong with what is something something's wrong with you with the sex that they're born with? If you mm. bring them up like that, like sure. I mean, I, we fully intend to raise our children in a gender expression neutrality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where even when they're small Bubbles children. And it's going to be like, if you play with what you want to play with, I'm going to make sure that you have everything, all of the options, and that you have clothes that make you free and comfortable and happy and you can move around in. I don't care if someone looks at my child and goes, oh, your son is so cute. And I'm like, it's a girl, but right. sure, yeah. whatever. <laughs> like, you just said my baby's cute. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, your baby name ideas. Do you have any rules? We baby have names? Exact we names. have the names. You have exact oh, yeah. names? Yeah. But we're yeah. Not, I, we, I don't even want to share it. Yeah, no, 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 neither do we. No, no, no. Um, Just jinxing. But I, I have a weird baby name quirk mm -hmm. in the. We're called Claudia and Jessica, and our dogs are called Walter and Matilda. So you want to uh? Yeah. Mm. Uh. Yeah, so I will only consider baby names that like end names in that. Because uh, there's one okay. so, like, boys' names that end in ER, girls' names that end in IA. Shabba. You shouldn't call your yeah. kid Shabba, but I'm just like, oh, wait, yeah. Because uh -huh. my name's an uh, even though it's an A. Shabba. Oh. It has an uh sound. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that's like Jessica. Yeah. Clara. Yeah. 
Evelina, all of them. Andrea. Walter. My mum's like there. everyone we know. A lot of names end with her. All of my sister's names, <laughs> and I've got five of them, all end in her. And my mum wanted all of our first initials to start with an S. So I'm Shaba, and my next sister down is Shazia. But then they were like, no, because we'll have the same initials. Too confusing. Yeah. Like on post and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's why they did it with the A. But then my youngest sister on that side is called Zara. And they chose Zara because they were like, Z, the end. Done. Full oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that I would like, because it's a thing in our family, mm. all of the names are Islamic. Does that make sense? Yeah. The names that we've chosen are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But... It's funny, but because also like easily ben, pronounceable in English. Yes, yeah. yeah. Like Ben is in the Slavic name, and you wouldn't mm. think, or Adam, you know. What do your families think about it? Ooh. That is a load. My mum's like, I am the only one of my sisters who is not her grandmother. We're like, okay, sorry, sorry, Jesus. She'd want us to have had babies like three years ago. That's so oh. adorable. She's like, you got married now. <laughs> I love it. My right. dad is like, wants us to have kids. He finds the whole process of how we do it a little bit weird. Confusing. Yeah. He's a very British man, Claude's dad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's not like, he's not, he's supportive, but he's like... He just doesn't know how to say the, the right thing and yeah, do the yeah. right thing. I feel like my mum thinks she's supportive. Your parents are fantastic. My 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 mum is like, I can't wait to be a grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Just, Give me a baby. Yeah, oh. yeah, she's very cute. Yeah. Oh. And, and your dad, he's so good with younger kids as oh, well. Oh my, yeah, so. it's so sweet. Yeah. So I think they're very excited. And I think your mum is looking forward to being a grandma. I think it sounds maybe a little bit like your dad, where it's kind of like she's a kind on of person board generally. I love the gays. They're so friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the wrong thing. Yeah. And also slightly confused about how the process of how we're going to have kids. Yeah. yeah. And is worried about it. very important to her, though, that the kids were biologically mine. Yeah. Uh, which I mean, I'm not sure what's possible, so... I have two genetic disabilities, so my parents are like, we just want grandkids that are fine. We don't really mind. So that's nice. That's not really a compliment, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm not really sure how to respond. <laughs> Sorry, no, me neither. It's fine. We're going to deal with that myself. Yeah, you have to love them. What, parents or babies? <laughs> 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 when do you plan to tell your child totally about what makes you different? <laughs> I'm sad on the end of that. I feel like the brown thing, they're just going to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away. Can be like, Mom, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so because you've got different um, skin colours and different families, like your, ch your children won't question other people's skin colour? Mm -hmm. Like, we've had a chat about when we would tell our kids, and I think it's kind of as early as they would comfortably understand. Where they come so, from and the yeah. fact that you're trans. So my mum was told she was adopted when she was like, three or four years old, Ooh. she was really young. And that kind of worked out quite well because it didn't really change her view of her parents, she just had an understanding of where she came from. So I think we take the same approach, like, but not like too young where it would just like, Ooh. Yeah. Well, we discussed that sexuality, because obviously for, for you guys, I imagine that's quite mm. obvious, they'll understand that from a young age. But if I was like, mommy likes men and women, yeah. I don't know if then they're, they're also like, wait, does that mean you like you daddy really? and you like someone else? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would yeah. probably just tell them the information that was necessary about where they came from. Yeah. And kind of what they could learn about us in the future. And if it came up when they were older... I would hope sex ed in schools would definitely yeah. be just kids enough to cover that. Yeah. And be oh, like, yeah. yeah, that's me. Yeah. 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 We yeah. would have to... People ask us, it's like, would you tell your children which of you is biologically the mum? Mm -hmm. Would you tell them how they came to be, like where you got the sperm from? Would you tell them all about it? And I just think we'd always bring them up. It's a bit weird actually, because we currently do this thing where she'll look at me and she'll be like, oh yeah, yeah the baby will get that from you. Yeah, we I forget, we forget about time. like how science and genetics work. And I'm always just like, oh, that'll be like, like, you know, we just assume it's going to be a morph of the two of us. Yeah, we've done the same. Yeah. Ever since I've been like, oh, if, if they get a mix of our hair, like, yeah, yeah. Know, it's beautiful hair, or, you know, like, yeah. mocha coloured skin and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Probably, no, because they pick up your mannerisms and stuff, so they, probably, yeah. they will be a reflection of both. The people. mannerisms, There's, there's yeah. so much that's nurture. Like, my mum is very much like my grandma. How do you plan on handling unsolicited comments from strangers? Oh yeah. 
with the added capacity Yay. of having I mean, public profiles. But you guys, mm. probably absolute strangers, like if you're in a restaurant, because like you're both presenting as like a we heterosexual have a couple. Privilege. Straight yeah. privilege. Yeah. yeah. Straight couple privilege. Whereas for us it's like we well, we've talked about this how like they've been like, Oh, which one of you is the mum? Or like whose kids are they? Yeah. Or like where are the husbands? Where are sisters? Where is, where are, where's daddy today? And mm. things like that. That's gonna be really great on us and it's gonna be forever having to come out to people all the time, which we do anyway, but Yeah, being gay is coming out every single day yeah Yeah. you just kind of have to accept that that's how it is (laughs) in one way I'm very grateful for that and I realise that it is a privilege because you're not going to get people outrightly who you don't know saying things without fear yeah or assuming things or asking weird questions one thing that I have that I've experienced with the wedding stuff that I know will never go away I'm always scared that people are going to find out Mm. who we've already trusted and gone relationships with Mm. and then be horrible do you know what I mean so we don't want like a cake made by somebody who turns out to be very transphobic or homophobic or something so we're kind of like but like with the kids i wouldn't want our kids yeah. to make friends with kids and then the parents to think that you know we are just the vanilla cis yeah, couple yeah. And, and then, then be finding like, wait out. you're those uh, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah like i yeah. feel like that yeah. could be so it'll be tried just as bad oh yeah. and our kids getting penalized in any way because of their parents oh i know it's sad i do have a happy thought though and mm. to, to wrap up the video just came to my mind, I was so excited. <laughs> okay. Baby's first pride. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just imagine how adorable that's yeah, going to be. Yeah, what are you going to dress them in? <laughs> yeah, or like as oh, toddlers and they're going to wear all flags to school. Or like little rainbow wings. There's little like crayons and like Oh my oh, god. Yeah, yes. Baby rainbow wings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have answered some of your burning questions. Do remember to go and check out the video on Jamie's channel where you will learn a little bit more about the journeys that we intend to go on. Ooh. Yeah. If you have any suggestions for baby names, then <laughs> <laughs> uh, please leave them in the comments down below. And remember to go and subscribe to both of these people's wonderful YouTube channels, which are... Oh, Shada. Jammy Dodger, with an I. <laughs> To confuse Jammy people. Dodgery. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever people say. Jammy Dodgery. Right See you in the next video.